I got to get used to this again cuz <laughs> I'm not used to using rifles as much anymore, man. I believe the Dr. Home came to me for a reason, not necessarily to be a weapon much appreciated for its exotic talent, but instead to provide a segue in my brain that led me to something greater, a concept that would elevate all rifles and return them to their rightful glory. This one talent I used on my doctor's home build called the doctor. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. This beat is just too fire. Okay, now back to the topic at hand. Shortly after playing it and reading through many esteemed subscribers' comments, made me realize that this build is not for the doctor home. It's for any rifle you want to use. And I made some changes to it. In fact, this talent when used in a different rifle could even hit harder than the doctor. Let me tell you, it's headhunter. This gives you the opportunity to chain kill. And if you want to fully embrace this concept, then use this build I'm using right here. Here's the problem with rifles and why this fixes them. Their base damage has been exponentially decreased. The once proprietary extra 1.95% headshot multiplier that the Urban MDR once had is now long gone. And as a whole, rifles have been underused for a long time. Well, it's time for them to shine again. Headhunter allows you to deal insane amounts of damage to any part of the body. All it requires of you is a killing blow consisting of a headshot. Then the fun begins. Just the right amount of juice needed to put rifles in their respective positions again. And you know what? I've got just the build in mind. But that's not the only crazy aspect of this whole discussion. Since I'm using the Dr. Home Exotic, instead I could use another rifle, mainly the MDR, and add any other rifle talent to this setup. Boomerang, Rifleman, Strain, Bread Basket. Take your pick. Anyways, let me explain this build to you and you'll see what I choose. I only want it with this video to bring this into the light. So listen to what I got for you right here. What's going on fam? I wanted to show you this build <laughs> because it's important to know that after all the flack that the Dr. Home has gotten, this weapon has inadvertently allowed me to expand my horizon to rifles in general with the Urban MDR and a new and the talent that's always been here but i didn't realize how powerful it was until now people were saying in those comments that the dr home is just like any other rifle so you're better off using another rifle so you could get more damage until they fixed the dr home well that's what i did this build is insane and i'm using red basket red basket by landing body shots gives you 35 35 percent headshot damage per stack and there's three stacks which means they'll give you 100% total. 100% on top of what I'm already dealing. So look at the stats and I'm dealing over 200% headshot damage, which means I'm gonna deal over 300% once I get this maxed. Now, with rifles, you're not always gonna hit them in the head, right? Let's be honest, especially if you're using a controller. I use mouse and keyboard, it's a bit easier for me, but I still miss the head, but it's okay because hitting the body works to your benefit with bread basket. Now, I'm using a busy little bee and this is an awesome exotic because for one, it's one of three exotics that have damage to target exotic covers and attribute. That's rare on exotics because these attributes cannot be changed, so you need to cherish them. So it stacks with the damage to target exotic cover on the Fox's Prayer knee pads, which you all know. And the Fox's Prayer knee pads are what give me the rifle damage I need for the Urban MDR. Man, this build is insane, right? I have Punch Drunk, which gives me the damage I need for my busy little bee with 20% pistol damage and a 20% named headshot attribute that it has. So this means that you're not gonna just use the busy little bee as a as a chore to get this bonus damage. You're going to want to use it to deal damage. And as I said, this is another one of those ebb and flow builds where everything works. Maybe not the enforcer shotgun because I'm not really gonna be using that unless I have close range range engagement sometimes but for the most part i'm going to be swapping between the busy little bee and the urban mdr and with the gunslinger's holster it gives me a reason to swap to my busy bee right and attain that crazy damage that it offers for the talent quick draw while your pistol is holstered gain a stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. when you swap to it your first shot consumes the buff 
deals 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage anywhere you hit on the body. So with this, you don't even have to hit him in the head, right? And while you're here, using the pistol is where you stack your busy little B for your Urban MDR. <laughs> you see the ebb and flow here? You see the swag on this build, man. Okay, now, remember, I have the Providence chest piece with Headhunter, where after killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds steals an additional 125% of that killing blows damage. So this is what allows you to chain kill and do that extra insane damage that rifles are missing, that rifles don't have anymore. You're using bread basket, and then when you get a kill with a headshot, you're using Headhunter. Then you switch to the Dodge City Gunslinger's holster, you're using the busy little beat, so you can't lose with this. I'm really excited about this simply because I'm just happy that I'm able to use rifles again and go back to that original glory that I had in Urban MDR back in the day in the dark zone, peeling people's caps back. I mean, I don't know how this will perform in PvP. Maybe it will perform well, but I haven't played PvP in so long and I don't really intend to. I'm just glad I'm able to feel powerful with this kind of weapon. But let's do a mission with this bad boy, man. Let's see how it performs. Miss me. So now that my Dodge City Gunslinger's holster is maxed out, I'm gonna switch to that and start going in with that. You know, I'm I'm not really I don't really like weapons and builds where they're really situational to where you only have to do this in order for it to work. I, I like them to just flow. So reading the description the busy little bee is a situational weapon but with this build it's not <laughs> it makes me want to use this thing man See that that right there is what five stacks once i switch tech to my urban that's enough that's a uh, hundred percent damage But I really want them to fix the Dr. Home. I do. I mean, I I think they will. It's, it's kind of ridiculous how the weapon is, if you ask me. It's really ridiculous. Just mark these last couple and switch back to the urban. I gotta get used to uh, using <laughs> this rifle again, man, because... I 
I think. So easy to miss because his rifles are so accurate. The Doctor Home base damage is 116k higher than the Urban. So that's why it hits harder. But it's all good, man. I wanted to try the Urban out because it's, the fam it's a favorite of mine. If I find an M1A CQB, the same variant as the Doctor Home. And I'll definitely give it a try. Now this is what I got. So basically, since I'm hitting this armor bullets aren't even registering as red basket. I have to penetrate his armor first. There we go, now it's registering. Now it's not registering on the head. <laughs> oh! <laughs> nice. Sorry. Man, they got some range. <laughs> this is so effortless, man. That's it. <laughs> Easy peasy, baby. Just to show you it again, if you didn't see it, this is what I'm rocking with. Tell me what you think of it down below in the comments. And that'll do it for this video. I was just, I just wanted to share my excitement with you. Let you know what I got. I'll catch you on the next one, fam. Be right out. <laughs>